Welcome Living Classroom students. Today we are in the Amazon jungle, a rainforest responsible for one quarter of the world's oxygen and one fifth of the world's fresh water. It's the lungs of the planet. It breathes in the carbon dioxide and exhales fresh clean air for us to breathe and also water molecules to create a living breathing river in the sky. But there's a slight problem we're in danger of losing one quarter of the world's supply of oxygen. So let's hold our breath for one quarter of a minute to find out why. Can you do it? <gasps> the Amazon rainforest is being deforested at an alarming rate to create palm oil plantations and beef grazing paddocks that are destroying the homes of monkey sloth and pewdie deer. Look how cute that is. Plus, huge petroleum companies are drilling for oil in the heart of the ecosystem, which is leaking into the Amazon river where the beautiful but weird pink dolphin lives. 15 seconds. Well done, you. Now put your shirt over your mouth and breathe in, because that's about one quarter of your oxygen gone. See if you can keep that up for the rest of the video. So this is a deforested site in the Amazon rainforest. It's dry, it's hot, there's no canopy to provide shade. There's no wildlife as far as the eye can see and the soil is really dry and essentially dead. This is gonna take over a hundred years to restore it to its former glory. But there's hope. Indigenous Shipibo people are working with the Chai Kuni Institute of the Temple of the Way of Light to help speed up the process of regeneration using permaculture. Let's jump on a boat, head to the Temple of the Way of Light and find out more. Welcome to the Permaculture Regeneration Program, the Chai Kuni Institute. Chai Kuni is an ancient Shipibo word meaning invisible protector of the forest that can shift in and out of reality, kind of like the predator. Now the Chai Kuni Institute is regenerating the Amazon from the ground up. And I mean that literally because they are starting with the soils. Now let's go follow these guys here and see where they're going. Ooh, composting food scraps, nice. In the Amazon, you'd think under that forest floor there'd be a rich abundance of topsoil, but actually it's quite sandy. It's this white beach sand, which doesn't contain that much life. So when they deforest entire sections of the rainforest, it essentially desertifies and turns into a desert. So that's why the people at the Temple of the Way of Light and the Chai Kuni Institute are composting. And look at this rich black soil. It smells incredible. It's, it's got so much life in this. And then they use this soil to regenerate entire sections of the Amazon rainforest. Now all this leftover logging debris is not gonna go to waste. We're gonna turn it into biochar. So we're gonna burn it in the absence of oxygen, turn it into charcoal and put it back into the ground. Let's go find out some more. Now when biologists first arrived to the Amazon and they started to look at the soil, they found that indigenous tribes have been burning off all of their excess resources and burying them which is burning them in the absence of oxygen called pyrolysis. And the result is this beautiful crumbly soil that has 10 times the potential of regular soil. Now, when this is mixed in with your compost, you have got something that's really quite amazing. Not only do they compost their food scraps, but they actually compost humanure which means when we do our ones and twos in the toilet we cover it with sawdust we place it into a compost pile leave it for one to two years and then it's ready for reforestation projects now that we've got our compost our biochar and our ready to go humanure which are all just waste products of a big permaculture system we can mix them all together head out into the field and start regenerating the amazon rainforest
that just goes to show that you can use human waste products to regenerate the Amazon rainforest. How awesome is that? Let's go check out an already established food forest using this permaculture technique. Stay tuned class for our next episode of The Living Classroom, where we explore a fully functioning Amazonian food forest with Shipibo shamans. And a big thank you to the Chai Kuni Institute and Temple of the Way of Light for having us. Please support them and the amazing work they do at their websites below. And parents, if you'd like to support The Living Classroom so we can keep creating classes like this, please donate to our fundraiser below and follow our social media updates. And to all those kids who have made it this far, breathing through their shirts, congratulations, you can breathe easy. You now know what it feels like if we lost the Amazon. You are ready for next episode's challenge. See you then.